Hey guys, and welcome to the first tutorial on the channel. Today we're going to be making a procedural dungeon generator in Unreal Engine 5. I just wanted to take the time to say thank you guys so much for the support in the last video. You guys are just awesome. But without further ado, let's just get started. So before we do the code, let's talk about how the algorithm works. The algorithm we'll be using is called the walker method. It begins by spawning a single room. The next room has four potential locations it can be next. A random location is chosen, and this method loops over and over until we have enough rooms. This method also uses backtracking, allowing for multiple paths to reach the same room. This method is both simple and effective, which is exactly what we want. So now let's get to the programming. All right, so first start off, go into your blueprints folder then make a folder called Dungeon Generation System, click on there, and then make two actor blueprints, one called Dungeon Generator and one called Room Parent. Make sure the Dungeon Generator is out in the world, so just drag that out, set the location to zero, 00, just like that. Now go into your Room Parent, and we're going to go to the viewport, and we're going to come out here, and you're going to make a sample room. Uh, start off with a floor. Make sure the floor is a scale one to one. That means the grid size is 100 by 100 units. And yeah, just make a simple room. I added an arrow component so uh, you'll know the walls directions are. So for this wall specifically, this is the top wall. This is the left, and right and bottom walls. So just make a simple room like this and then go into the event graph. Then make two variables, one called room connections. This is going to be a room parent variable and set it to a set. And then go to another, make another variable called coordinates and make that a vector 2D. And then from there, just copy this code right here, get the active location and set the coordinates just like that. Then get out of there and then from the room parent, right click it and create child blueprint class. Make two child blueprints, one called empty room BP and one called start room BP. Then go into the start room BP and all you need to do is change the material of the floor just so you know that this is the start room. But you don't have to do this, but I like to do it just to know what the start room is. So uh, exit out here and you can exit out of the room parent for right now. Uh, then go to the dungeon generator. We're going to go in here and we're going to start here. So first make your variables. So first one, make a variable called grid size and then to a vector 2d. And here I set the grid size to hundred, hundred, like I said before, then go and make another variable called rooms. This is going to be a map. So first set the variable type to be a room parent. And then from there, click this button right here and then go down to map like that. And then for the value, make the value into a vector 2D. Then come right here, make an integer called room amount. And I just set it to 10. This is just how many rooms are going to be spawned in the dungeon itself. So I set mine to 10 and then make another integer called rooms left. Uh, it's also integer and it's rooms left to zero. Then make two variables, one called start room and one called previous room. They're both going to be room parents. So just set them both to room parent like that. And you're done for the variables here. So next, just copy this code right here. So the rooms left is set to the rooms amount over here. And we're going to spawn the start room BP that we made. So not the room parent, but the start room BP, the child. And then we're going to come out of here so from the return value. We're going to set the start room to be that. And then we're going to come out of this rooms map here, get an add node. So just come out and type in add node. and you should see oh, that's weird. Come out click add, um, say add. So under map, Get the add node right there and then 
plug in the start room to the add and then the vector 2d into the add as well as the value and then over here we're going to set the previous room to the start room here we're decrementing rooms left so just get rooms left and then come out and then type in minus minus to get the decrement int like that and it just subtracts one from the rooms left right here we are going to make a branch and then the condition is going to be rooms left is greater than zero and then from there out of true we're going to make a new function called spawn random room to do that just click this plus button right here next to functions it'll make a new uh, function down here just call it spawn random room and then drag it out like that and then you want to loop it back into the branch so to make this little setup I'll show you real quick come from this executive pin drag it into the branch move this down a little bit and then double click each node like so and that's how you make a reroute node so just double click like that and that's how you make one very simple i'm going to unplug this false for now and then next uh compile and save next go into the spawn random room and here is what it looks like so far so i'll go over it really quick so in here get the previous room and then get the rooms map and come out and get a find node and we're going to make four of these little things right here so i'll explain so break a vector 2d get the x and y and then get the grid size like this and then just split the struct pin to make it look like this and then for the first one we're just going to get its x value and we're going to get the x value up here and we're going to add those two together and make that new x value right here in the make vector 2d and then we're just going to set the y equal to the y so it's equal to each other and then we want to do the same thing except this is the y's now so add the y's together and make that the new y and then just make the x's the same and then here we're just doing minus so subtract the x's and make that the new x and then keep the y's together and then keep the x's together and then subtract the y's from each other and then from there we're going to make a select node so just type in select and add pins so you can have four just click the add pin button and then you'll have four options from option zero to option three and then from the index just drag out and type in random integer in range and then the minimum is going to be zero and the max is going to be three this is just to randomly choose a potential location for our room and then from here you're going to drag up and you're going to promote to a local variable and call it potential location i just made my potential lock and to find local variables they'll be down here so in potential the lock we're going to come out of there and we're going to get the rooms map and get the values from that and then break out of here and then into a contains node and we're going to do a branch now this is going to check if the potential location that we're trying to spawn a room is already in the rooms map so if it's not already in the rooms map then we can spawn a new room so come out of false and then you want to spawn a empty room BP for the location just get the potential location that we made earlier and then make that into the new location and then from the return value we're going to set a new we're going to promote a new local variable call it current room which is uh, down here current room and from there come out and get a new add node so type in add like we did last time add to the map and we're going to add the information there just like that next we're going to decrement rooms left like we did last time and then right here is where we are going to connect the rooms together so from the current room get the room connections and then do another add so there should be an add for a set and put in the previous room as well and then come out from this ad and basically you can just copy and paste it and then paste down here and here's just swapped so the previous room is going to get we're going to get the room connections for the previous room and the current room is going to be added there so we're just connecting the current room or the previous room to the current room and then the current room to the previous room and then from there we set the current room to be the previous room and that's that 
And then coming from the true from the branch, we're going to come up here. We're going to get uh, the room's map, get its values, put it into a find node from the and get the potential location out here. And then get the keys from the room as well. And from there, we're going to get a get node, get reference node, and then come out from there and then set this to the current room. And then this code just means we couldn't place a room at this location because there's already a room here. So we're going to get the room that's already there and set that as the current room. And then we're going to come over here and this is just the same thing. So you can just copy and paste this whole entire thing and paste it right up here and that'll be good to go. And then that'll be it for the spawn random room function. So come out of there and now go back to the room parent and then go down here, do a new custom event. So just right click, type in custom event to add a new custom event. Then you're going to name it create paths. And from here, we are going to get the room connections, turn it into an array, um, and then get a for each loop. So from this for each loop, we are going to get the coordinates X and Y and then split it. And then we're going to get our coordinates here and split that as well. Then we're going to check the X's and see if they're not equal. If they are not equal, then we are going to focus on the X's up here. And if they are equal, we're going to focus on the Y's down here. So if they're not equal, then we are going to get the coordinates X and the coordinates, our coordinates X right here. And then we're going to see if the target's coordinates X is greater than our coordinates X. If it's true, we are going to destroy the top wall. And then if it's false, we're going to destroy the bottom wall. And the same thing right here, except for the Y's now. So we are going to get its coordinates Y and check if it's greater than our coordinates Y right here. If it's true, we're going to destroy the right wall. And if it's false, we're going to destroy the left wall. And you can, if I forgot to mention, you can drag them out and just drag them like this. And that's perfectly fine. And then go back to the dungeon generator and come out from the false and go to rooms, get a keys node um, out from there, get a for each loop. And then from the array element, type in create paths, the event that we just made, and then plug that into the loop body. And just like that, we are done. So come out of there, make sure the dungeon generator is in the world. And then if you hit play, it should make our rooms for us. And if you want, go to the dungeon generator actor in the world. You can scroll down to the defaults tab and you can change the room amount to whatever you like. So I can change it to 50 and then I hit play. And now there are 50 rooms that are spawned in. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you learned something or just enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing too. But that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one.